Lawson just kills you there, man, starting 21st. And then he caught Brian Laughlin and tried to get by him, and uh, lots of brake checking was going on there. Yeah, uh, Brian's one of those drivers that can dish it out. That when his car is faster than you and he'll catch you and he'll move you and bump on you and beat on you. But when you catch Brian and hit him one time and he starts brake checking you and driving you uh, where it's not real cool to do. And, you know, I bumped him a couple times. He started brake checking me. I turned him around and he tore the left front off my car. It looks like he started a war now. So, uh, Brian, I know you'll see this video come and get you something, man. Jonathan Brown led the entire race here until the very end. Bert got you on the restart there, man. What happened? Uh, pretty plain, pretty plain, simple deal. I mean, uh, I sat there and rode and saved tires all night. Tony White spotter, he was on the radio saying save tires, save tires. I never run, but about half throttle the whole race. Had a great car, comes down to restart. I'm not gonna say Burt jumped me at all, I just spun the tires a little bit and for some reason his uh, car will not spin at all. I'm not sure what it is, but it all goes back to classic Bowman Gray Stadium. They wanna do something about the big points lead, but at the same time they won't come check anything. You know, They don't police tires, they don't police anything ignition. And uh, if you call Daytona wanting to come check anything, Greg Garrison never rules it. But uh, basically just like I told the reporter for West Sound Journal, every time I feel like I'm getting passed or beat by a cheated car, I'm going to start turning around. Yeah, and I mean, do, how hard were you pushing? Like you, like you were saving a little bit there. You know, uh, right there at the end, I mean, I, I knew I was going to have to run my car hard with that last restart. And, uh, leaving the good old Bowman Gray to give it a last double five restart there. But, uh, you know, I knew I was going to have to run my car pretty hard. I, I give Burt plenty of room, you know, he always gives me room. I give him room, he pinched me off a little, coming off two, and uh, I just spun the tires, but I mean, he running a three over his head trying to get away from me. Car turns sideways, he picks the throttle up, and it just kind of stops sliding and stops spinning tires, so tells me about one thing, that he's got some kind of uh, trash control or something. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> Maybe he's just that damn good. If he is, that's off to him. Bert Myers, big winner here tonight in the 100 lapper, like you were saving it there at the end, and you got that restart outside and took off and left. Yeah, I was just trying to buy my time, and it looked like the 53 and the 71 were running really hard. I was hoping that I had something left at the end, and I was able to get out there on the outside. The car's running really good right now. You know, you just uh, put ourselves in the right position to be able to take advantage of it. Yeah, John Boy, I want to interview him. He's, he's talking about some traction control. <laughs> well, <laughs> if we're not talking about you, I guess you're not winning the races, I guess. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, if, it, if you're winning races, they're going to talk about you. But, um, you know, this is the same car that I'll run in the tour race in a couple weeks. And NASCAR's going to go through it with a fine tooth comb. Uh, everything I got is tour legal. So, uh, it is what it is, but we're just we're just glad we can come over here tonight and win the race.